Welcome back to the channel, guys, and welcome to episode three of the lighting series that I'm doing where we are taking the mystery out of lighting. We are taking these lighting setups from my lighting book and making them simple, breaking them down so that you at home can get professional looking results and you can wow your clients, you can create beautiful art and become a better photographer. So the next lighting setup that we're gonna be doing is a slit lighting. Now, there are multiple ways that you can do this. You can either use a gobo with a slit in it, and um, essentially that is just a projector lens that you put on the front of the camera that will allow you to project a slit onto your subject, or you can do what I have here, which is possibly a little bit cheaper, where we're just gonna use two V-flats and our light. So the idea is that we are going to cut the light direction by blocking it with the V-flaps. So all I have here is my strobe with the seven inch reflector on it. And I'm going to blast the light directly at my model. As you can see, if we look right through the crack, you can see her and let's see. So I'm gonna turn my strobe on and I'm gonna kinda shoot from the side because I want it to be a little bit more dynamic. And what we'll do is we'll start out with a test shot. So right now, my light power is at 1 8 My camera settings are one over 125 shutter speed, F 4.5 aperture, and ISO 250. So let's take a test shot and see what it looks like. Good, Jada, give us a beautiful pose. Perfect. So honestly, that might be perfect. I don't know if you guys can see on the back of the camera, but I'm gonna make sure that I put it on the screen. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mess up the settings a little bit just so that we can go through the progression. So right now I'm at one over 64 on my light power, and I'm just gonna change my ISO to 1600, right? So this is commonly what I see a lot of uh, photographers do, right? They boost their ISO up because they may want to get a brighter image. However, they're not keeping in mind that a higher ISO will also create a grainier image. So ultimately you wanna to try to keep your ISO as low as possible. So I'm gonna bring it back down to 100 and the image is popping up on screen. You guys will see. Now I brought it back down to 100 and as you can see, it's a little bit too dark right so i'm going to incrementally increase it until i get an image i like so now i'm at 1 over 160. boom still too dark one i'm at 320. still too dark and that might be as far as i want to push my iso so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say let me increase the light intensity through my trigger and let's bring it up to 1 16th. Jada, give us a nice pose. Beautiful. Now that looks really good. So keep in mind with this lighting setup, as you can see in that last image, you wanna make sure that your model is placed correctly. So on that last one, she was a little bit out of the light. So just take the time to adjust her, make sure that she's in the right place. And it might be a little bit difficult for you guys to see on video, but if the ambient light was cut, which is what I always recommend, you can see the slit of light. So all I'm gonna do is just move her over a little bit, right into that slit of light. And we're gonna take a few more shots. So Jada, give us a beautiful pose. Gorgeous. Perfect. Now, if you want it to look a little bit more interesting, you can go super wide and you can shoot the entire backdrop. And this will allow you to see the line that's also behind her on the psych wall. Good. Good. Now, as you guys know, there are four core principles of light that I teach. This one, 
stresses light intensity and light direction. So we're directing the light right at her and we're going to cut the direction of the light because we don't want it spreading everywhere by using the V-flats. And then we're going to increase or decrease our intensity based on how bright we want our model to be. So this one was a little bit shorter because as I said, we're taking a mystery out of lighting and it was very simple. So if you liked it, go ahead, drop a like, drop a comment, share it, subscribe to the channel because we will be doing more. As you can see, we have our beautiful model. If you guys want to see more of her, like, comment, share, subscribe. And that is going to be it for this tutorial. Make sure that you tune in for the last one, part four. That will be the end of this specific lighting series where, remember, we're taking the mystery out of lighting.